Hello and welcome to another video of SEO Zoom. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how you can issue SSL certificate for your free PBX or you can generate Let's Encrypt certificate for your free PBX using the FQDN or your domain name. So we'll be following each and every steps and you can learn how you can set up the SSL certificate for your free PBX. So let me take you guys to my computer screen. So as you can see that we are on the free PBX dashboard and first you need to go into the system admin and here you will select the port management. In the port management section you need to select the admin port 8080 and the let's encrypt port 80 okay and then update it. Once you have updated then you will need to go into the uh, firewall and here you will go into the services and and we need to enable the let's encrypt like internet local and other services to be activated then you will be able to install the let's encrypt SSL certificate for your free PBX the next thing is you need to go into the certificate management and you will like start a new let's encrypt certificate and here you will enter the FQDN, your domain, your email, your country, and your state, and start generate Let's Encrypt certificate. And it, it will take like two to three minutes, and it will generate the uh, new certificate for your free PBX. And here you can see that it is generated. And now you will select the default certificate, and then go into your system admin here you will select the um, HTTPS settings and your newly generated certificate select that and import once you will click import it will take like like very minimum time like two to three minutes and it will start importing once it is imported then you will like uh, save and restart the Apache like as you can see there is a button in the bottom once the Apache is imported then your SSL certificate will start working so now you will have to go in the like uh, in the sys admin again and you'll here you will select the ports for your newly generated certificate for the uh, FQDN to load. So here everything is like set up. You have to select the default port for the every single aspect and then you will save it. Once it is done, then you will be able to load the FQDN and your free PBX is good to go. So that was all like how you can set up the FQDN for your free PBX or SSL certificate for your free PBX. So in coming videos we'll be discussing the IVR and also the queue setup and so on and so forth. We'll be discussing each and every settings like how you can make your free PBX more functional and more sophisticated. So stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you in the next videos.